Anna volume one. These are issues one to ten. I think this is the only volume that came out for Katana and I believe this was done around 2014. This was around about done around about 2014. My friend from work gave me this um, so that I could review it and I didn't know whether to review it first because obviously I've never read a Katana book. I have saw her in Suicide Squad, uh, not the rebirths, but um, in the film. And I did really enjoy in the film and I just thought I'd give this a go. If I liked it enough, I'd give some uh, feedback on it to my subscribers and see if, you know, it was any good. So yeah, so this is the cover that I got. It is a very lovely cover. I do like how thick this book is as well. There's a lot, a lot in there. So Katana um, is a very different superhero than I thought she'd be. And I think the way that the director, directors, the writers and um, everybody else who did this, I'm not very good with names who did this was very very good they really captured her story and i feel like she's such an underrated character it's a ridiculous like it was just oh wow so katana goes on a full half pretty much all the way through the comic she goes through a revenge kind of motive and then as she's learning through each fight combat um meeting with people she's kind of learning and discovering herself as obviously she used to be a wife you know and i feel like you kind of go you literally do go on that discovery with her throughout the whole comic you know and see all of her mistakes and flaws and then but then you also see her learning from those mistakes and flaws and it's just took me by surprise how much i actually enjoyed this i think definitely um she her story's much more complex than a lot of people give her credit for and the way how far she comes how far she came and everything and it's a shame that this is the only volume i believe they did and it must have not sell very well um and it just sucks because i would have bought the next volume it was great um i was a little bit worried because of how thick it was it did remind me of dark justice league volume two and it was a bit much i didn't think it was a bit much i think they the consistency needed to be this much because there was so much to explain and i in a way her story hasn't properly been told i think um it would it would be great though if they did this for the huntress because i think her story would be great and i just don't get why they're not doing it yet for fuck's sake um but i think like the artwork in this i mean obviously you know it changes from like this to then like this which is very 50, new 52. Uh, trying to get a good picture for you guys, which is very new 52. So the artwork, um, I'd say like the first, like two, three issues or four issues, five, um, are different from the next, the last kind of issue, um, kind of pages. Um, it's definitely very new 52 and I loved it I think I just fell back into it I was like yes it's not like Rebirth because there's ruined Rebirth and um, it's just, just a shame that it didn't pick her for the Rebirths I mean you know if you look at Batwoman and if you look at um, Harley Quinn they've changed their stories like so much that it just pisses me off because it's like this is what she's supposed to be you know you keep on changing her and keep on changing her origin story then you go all oh, we're just gonna fucking forget her actual story so i think it's good that this was on the 52 rather than the rebirth but it would have been nice for her to do the rebirth because i think she's much more of a better character than definitely dc in corporate land give um and especially because she was in suicide squad the film i haven't read any of the new suicide squad i'm not ever planning to they're shit don't care um i don't know whether she was in that because after the film um but it's definitely worth a read for sure like you need to pick this up because this is complete badass and i'm definitely saying that it was badass she kicked ass that's what i'm gonna say and um the character there's no other real superheroes in there there's like one 
you might recognize but other than that there's none and that's what i loved about it because it was just so original and raw that it was just more about her journey and instead of like all the other dcu characters coming in and stuff and fucking ruining it um definitely give this a five out of five six hands down i think that's just because i like when you pick up it you're just like oh it's so in depth you've got to think about it i mean i remember going back like three or four pages sometimes just so i could grasp again and really get that detail back into my head if i hadn't picked it up in like a day or two and um, this took me just over two weeks to read just because i've been a bit busy with life as you get older you know you get uglier and none the wiser um but i definitely definitely recommend this it is great um great story great artwork um a great plot twist they definitely should have carried this on <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the view and um, my next review will be either Harley Quinn or The Birds of Prey Volume 2. guess I'm going to do Harley Quinn because I haven't done her for a while and I am missing her. And I know Volume 6 comes out, which is the last one for the rebirth in August. So I probably will do Harley Quinn next and then Birds of Prey and then do Harley Quinn again. So just look out for that. <laughs> so yeah, bye guys.